Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this video is on Microsoft Excel. As you can see from the file name and the sheet name, in this video, I will demonstrate the advanced filter feature to extract specific columns from a given data based on a certain condition. I've been given a trainer's database here from A1 to F16 and I have been asked to filter specific trainers based on a client's requirement. Now this data has got six columns and 15 rows, but this concept can be applied on a bigger data as well. Now the client's requirement is they want all leadership trainers based in London as well as Excel trainers based in Mumbai. That's the requirement. And this needs to be filtered in one go. Now, let us apply the regular filter feature here and check the output. First up, I don't have to select the entire first row or the row containing all the column headers and apply the filter dropdowns. I can select any one cell of my choice within the data and get the filter dropdowns applied. Now, how do we apply the dropdowns? There are many ways to apply the filter dropdowns. First, the most obvious is click on the data tab and there is this filter icon available here. So click on the filter icon and the dropdowns are applied. I can also click on the home tab and within the editing group here, I've got sort and filter. The filter option is available here as well. Click, right? So that's the mouse method. Now, notice here that when you go to the filter icon, either from the data tab or from the home tab, when you mouse over on the filter icon for a, for a few uh, seconds, it shows Control Shift L. Yep, that's the shortcut then, right? This can also be verified by going into the home tab, sort and filter. Yep, just keep the mouse near filter, mouse over, and it says Control Shift L. So let's apply that. So keep my mouse on any cell, Control Shift L. Right, so that's uh, 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 the, the the keyboard method to get the drop downs applied. Uh, I can also perform a right click, and I can see the filter option is available here, along with some sub options. So that's yet another way of applying the filter drop downs. Now let's come to my way. My opinion is I would uh, I always like to go with another uh, keyboard uh, uh, method. Alt a T right so alt A T that's it the only difference is control shift L uh, has to be done simultaneously here it is the alt first then A and then T right so uh, I like this because it also has my name it's got my names initials A for Ambarish T for 30 you can see my name is Ambarish 30 from the Excel login here so yeah because it's got my names initials I prefer the alt A T Okay, now that I've got the filter dropdowns applied, let's go to the first header, which is training expertise, alt down, right? Alt down to access the, the dropdown menu. I can use the down arrows to come to the select all. I can deselect by spacebar. And yeah, my requirement is leadership and Excel. So that's it. I'm using the space bar to select and deselect. Enter, and that's it. I also will go to the paste location header, alt down, alt down to access the drop down menu, space bar, and yep, the requirement is London and Mumbai. So space bar twice on London and Mumbai. That's it, I hit okay, and you can see that we've got five records here. This can also be verified from the left bottom of the Excel interface. It says five out of 15 records found. Okay, so we've got the output. However, there is a problem here. We wanted Excel trainers from Mumbai and leadership trainers from London. But look at this. There is one row here, which is Gloria. Gloria is an Excel trainer, but she's not from uh, Mumbai, she's from London. So this is an incorrect record as per the required condition. There is another trainer here, Glenn, right? Well, Glenn is a leadership trainer, but the requirement was 
we wanted leadership trainers from London and not Mumbai. So this also is an incorrect record that we've got in the filter output, right? So two incorrect records. So now we know that the normal filter feature is not sufficient unless it's done multiple times to get this desired output as per this client's requirement. So I remove the filter, all right? And let us apply the advanced filter now, all right? So I click on any cell of my choice. I click on data. I click on advanced, which is available in the sort and filter group right next to filter here, all right? So I click on advanced. The advanced filter dialog box opens up. List range is my entire given data, which is A1 to F16. So I select that. Uh, criteria range is the requirement specified by the client, which is also mentioned in the same sheet. So I select that H1 to I2, or sorry, I3. And that's it. I can hit enter or OK. And that's it. I've got only three records. And this time, I do not have those incorrect entries. Right, it says three of 15 records found. Now, remember the intention of creating this video was to use advanced filter to extract specific columns only. So, let us take an example here that the client has asked for this requirement. However, the client is not really interested in the gender and laptop serial number. Right? When we just performed the advanced filter, we did get the output in the gender as well as the laptop serial number column. And that is something that the client is not really interested in. So the client only wants, okay, so let's just copy the entire uh, headers, right? The entire row of all the headers and paste it here. Okay, so I'm just going to a different place in the same sheet. Okay, I do not want gender, so remove control minus. I do not want. Uh, I don't do not want the laptop serial number. So yeah, select and control minus. All right. So these are the four columns that the client is interested in as far as the output is concerned. All right. So let's see. Now I keep my mouse on any one cell. I go in the data. Then I click on the on the advanced filter. This time, I will ensure that I select copy to another location, which we hadn't done last time. Now, because I have selected copy to another location, this field number three, which is copy to, has also opened up for me. This time, uh, we are going to copy it into some other place, right? Okay, so copy to, and I will now highlight all the copied headers, right? The K1 to N1 range. And that's it. I hit OK. Remember here that the list range is the same as we as uh, what was selected last time, the complete database from A1 to F16, uh, this one, right? And the criteria range is H1 to I3, which is this one. That's it. I hit OK. And there you go. I have got the same three records. And this time it's without the gender and the laptop serial number, right? So we had uh, six columns in the original data but we've only got four as required by the client based on the condition specified by the client. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you've liked this video. Uh, have a nice one.